Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the different triggering methods. Alright. The triggering methods. Okay. Uh, you're looking at this, so this is something you already know. This is the basic structure of a sequential circuit, which you've seen before. Okay, today we see the triggering method. Now, what basically is the triggering? So, triggering is what? You provide a control signal. You provide uh, the clock pulse. And it does what? The state gets changed. The state is changed. This is called, this is called what? This is called triggering, all right? And what is this clock pulse? This is the control signal, clock pulse is equal to the control signal. Now we've seen that you give an input, you have a combinational circuit, it gives you an output. Now that output now is also stored in a memory. And this output stored in the memory is the state. This is the present state of it, all right? Now this present state along with the next input gives you the next state now the next state is stored in this memory, then along with the third input, it gives you the next state that is the third state. And that is stored in the circuit and it goes on so and on so and so. Is that fine? You know this from, from the beginning, alright? We've seen that in the last videos, if you haven't, so you go over there and see and you also subscribe to the channel. Okay, now something new to this is what? The new thing is about the control signal. Where do we have to provide this control signal in this particular circuit? Do you have an idea? No. So let me tell you, okay, I'm here to give you an idea. The, the control signal, which means the clock pulse is provided at the memory. The clock pulse is provided to the memory and this memory is what this is this would either be a latch or it could be a flip-flop which we'll be seeing inshallah in the next videos very soon so this clock pulse is provided at the memory unit okay and now we've seen the triggering also that when you provide this clock pulse along with the input along with the previous state to determine the next state when the previous state changes into a next state this is called triggering now we have types of triggering types two types of triggering level triggering and edge triggering okay now uh, what do we do uh, let me draw a, this circuit first, uh, sorry, the, the, the waveform first. So this is a clock signal of 50% duty cycle, which means that the time for which the signal is high is equal to the time for which the signal is low. So let's say this is a clock signal, right? Now, what is level, sig level triggering? Level triggering is that the that changes will occur when the signal is high. In level triggering, you have what? Where changes in circuit, changes in circuit mean in the state uh, when clock is high which means in the level triggering this portion is important this particular portion is for the what for the level triggering all right when the clock is high changes will occur in the circuit then the next is edge triggering, all right? And we have two types to this edge triggering as well. Uh, level triggering, we don't have a type. It is only when the clock is high. The two types to this edge triggering are 
a positive edge triggering and negative edge triggering. Now what is positive edge triggering? So for positive edge triggering, changes in circuit or state will occur when the clock is going from low to high state. This is when the changes occur which means the state is triggered when the clock is going from low to a high state. Similarly here and so on. And for the okay, so let me write over here the positive edge triggering all right and similarly we have for the negative for the negative when will changes occur to the circuit yes you know it okay so the changes uh, will occur when the clock is going from low to from from high to low state from high to low state so this is the, 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 the negative triggering with the green color, all right? Okay, now these are the three basic types of triggering, all right? And triggering is what? Triggering is the changing of the state when a clock pulse and the present into is provided. So the memory, the thing stored in the memory gets changed. That is called the state. And when it's changed, so that's called triggering, all right? And when and how is it triggered? So we have three, three ways to do it. Level triggering, when the clock is high state, that then will determine the state. In edge triggering, we have a positive edge triggering, which means when the clock is in transition from the low to high state, there's a, there's a triggering uh, happening over there. The state is changing. And similarly, the negative edge triggering, when it's coming from the high to low state, so that is when you have uh, a, a change in the state of the circuit. And that's all about it, okay? That's all for today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.